about China, few things that I know is that China is one of the best in, in engineering. In anything that has engineering and technology, then China is the best. study uh, something uh, based on their engineering and whatsoever. I think that's the best uh, country that will teach you a lot of things. Good day. Today we are in Daar, which is situated in the Northern Cape of South Africa. My name is Beverly and welcome to Longyear South Africa Renewables Open Day. Um, as you can see, it is now winter in Daar, where everything is dry and brown and dead. Because of the winter, we use so much energy and because of Longyear South Africa Renewables, they've created um, a system in the R where wind energy can be produced into energy that's used in the households. Good day, Mr. Dyer. Can you please tell us more about how the energy and the wind gets into the system so that we can have more energy in the winter? Yes, absolutely. Now that's why we are at the wind farm. First, I want to welcome you here to have, this, have a look at how the renewable energy gas works. And as you can see, we've got wind turbines which is turning, and that's where the power generates and okay. gets it to the send to the substation. Okay. So let's rather start with, with the substation and see how it how it works. Thank you. Let's take a look. Hello, Gerard. How are you doing? Hi, Beverly. I'm doing fine. How are you? Yes, well, thank you. Is it possible that you maybe can show us a bit of ground at your substation? Yes, but before I do that, I have to ask you a few questions and I need to take the tape. That will be fine. 36.5, that's good. Have you been traveling lately? No. Do you have any signs of discomfort like cough or shortness of breath? Nothing. Okay, that's good. Uh, can I just sanitize your hands? Thank you. Can you please go and show us? Well, as you know, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have to be very cautious at the R wind farm site. Anyone who enters to the wind farm need to be checked for temperature and get recorded. Every employee coming back to work after the lockdown has been trained strictly to fight COVID-19. That over there is our substation equipment. Over there is a, a high voltage uh, line. And this here is our warehouse. And here is the control room. So we need to do some induction first. Yeah. You can just follow with me. Okay. You remain responsible for your own health and safety and those around you. Always report unsafe acts or conditions to your host. Now we need to do the PPE as per safety regulations. Okay. Different from your previous job? Yes, it's a lot different uh, from my previous job. From the day I started here, I started to learn about the construction, the working of the turbines, and the high voltage side of this work. Really interesting. So that, this is the control room that we are going to enter now. This side, this will be our servers for the entire wind farm. It's, a, it's got cables connected to the panel rooms that getting all the communication and basically all the information into here and process and try to, to uh, work it out, analyze and try to send the correct, send the correct information and stuff. Well, this screen is basically tell you, tells you like how many turbines are in there and what the wind okay. speed and active powers and stuff, which is the electricity that we are generating at the stage. To get a, a better view, this will actually will show you in more details with each and every turbine with the, the power output at the stage, you can see from there. Okay. Yeah, currently it's like three three hundred and five kilowatts. That means it's, it's 
it's constantly running if they with the turbines turning that is sending out this electricity. Most of them is being equipped with the advanced technologies. So that actually gives us a, a great advantage of reducing the uh, on-site staff by sitting there 24-7 to monitoring the conditions on each and every one. So we do have a system that actually, if there is a fault, uh, they can send a message to our uh, personal devices like your cell phones or tablets and stuff to give you immediately with the turbines or with the substation equipment. So that actually reduces a lot of stuff requiring on this wind farms. Everybody's working now from home and due to this epidemic, do they still get paid? This uh, pandemic, world pandemic has uh, got us very, quite badly. So everybody is working from home and uh, uh, we don't need to worry anything about the salaries because we maintain the farm well, we're doing our jobs, doesn't no matter, you know, like we talked, it no matter where you are. You can even phone, chat with our staff and, you know, just to, to, to check, you know, whether everything is right. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Oh. So also, you know, we have, uh, as we discussed, we've supplied the enough uh, protective materials for all our staff, which is enough for at least three months. Okay. Yeah. So this is the, the central heart of the substation yard. Which, let's have a look at it, man. It's quite huge. Yes, uh, it's I can thing. see. Yeah, yeah, it's quite very big. big. And this is the transformer man body. So all the cores and oil, everything based in here. And this is the uh, this is the radiator, which is cools okay. the oil down. From the top, the power gets generated from the turbines. Okay. And then get collected from the collective roofs, transferred all the way down downhills into our substation and get into the transformer. Okay. The transformer will then step up the voltage to a much higher voltage, okay. which can be easier, easier to transfer to the national grid. And then from there, you could distribute it to the normal house. From the lockdown till now, we have already generated more than 200,000 kilowatt hours units, okay. which is enough for 300,000 household use. Wow, this looks so much different from down the mountain. And it's so big. This is the first wind power project that is owned by China Energy Group, which has a combination of investment, construction and operation. So if you see further, that is our other wind farm, the R2 wind farm, which is currently the biggest wind farm in South Africa. In total, we have 163 wind turbines installed. Okay, so that's good. So each one of them with a capacity of 1.5 megawatt. Can you tell me since when has the wind farm started giving energy? Well, our commercial operation date is the 31st of October 2017. Okay. So from then we have already generated over 2 billion kilowatt hours. It's actually used for 300,000 households. Yes. Yeah. So now here we add the turbine, Yo. and this is turbine number five. Okay. And uh, all our staff actually name it Huliat. Okay, yeah, Huliat. Is, yeah. yeah, no, that is sounds. The, the tallest, the highest point, the top, the tallest tower among the wind farm. Yes. Yeah. Like a big giant standing exactly. here. Exactly. So from now I will hand it over to my colleague, who is the wind turbine specialist, Shambing. He will give you more details. At the front of us, is the tall tube is the tower. It's about 18 meters high. 18? Yeah, oh, that's yes, quite really long. High. In the front of us, I saw is the rotor. 
wrote, yeah, the, it with its equipment is three, 20, 42 meters now blades. Is that the length of the blades? It's 42 yes, yes, meters. Yes. It's very wide, yo. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many people can go all around this turbine. Oh, oh, oh. Can I quickly yeah. measure? Yeah. One. Eight. Sure. Yeah. Eight people. Yes. That's yes. a lot. So impressive from outside and someone can even live in this um, turbine. Yes, yes. It's about 12 square meters inside. Oh, now we can have a look inside. Oh, that will be very yeah. nice. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Are we visiting Huliat's house today? Yes. yes. <laughs> this is Huliat's house. Right, this is the ladder that we're going up, oh, go all the way up to the Nassau. So, this is where the only access that we can go up there. Okay. Okay. So we've showed you how the harness works. We've checked everything's fine. We've showed you how the sliders works. So the slider will basically hook onto the side line. Five. Yeah, you keep correct though. So that's five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Working. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Okay, let's go first test this. Together with the blades, the nacelle has got a great yeah. area to capture the wind. So the wind will push the tower a little bit forward, and the tower, with the flexibility of these massive steel towers, is going to force it to come back a bit. Yeah. So that's why it's, it's like a, uh, what do you call it, those small windmills. You can also see it's a little bit shaking if the wind is too strong. Yeah, that's right. But these towers are designed for that, so we don't have to worry at all. We've seen everything on the inside of the turbine. Can you please tell me more what's going on top of the turbine? Yes, the most, the most important part in the other so the two sensors. This sensor will touch like our rotor indication because different, different weather, different phase, the wind speed different. Okay, so that side is our the archivist farm. Okay, okay yes. so on the mountain. Yes. 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 And the, also the downtown. The downtown in that side. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So, and when, where did all these wind come, turbines come from? They... Well, yeah, as you can see, we've mentioned that these, all these turbines and towers were manufactured in China. Okay. So, they have come in all the way from China, about 13,000 kilometers away from South Africa, Yo. by sea and inland. Especially, we actually. Uh, overcome the uh, very strict inland transport restrictions in South Africa. Okay. So it, it does travel a very long distance. Okay, David, with such a wind, big wind farm, how many guys did you use? You must have used quite a lot. Well, during construction phase, yes, we have a lot of contractors with a lot of guys. So at the construction phase, this, uh, our whole DAR project has created over 700 job opportunities. And even now, during the operation and maintenance stage, we still created uh, around 100 uh, job opportunities for, for the local people. In M phases, uh, each year we also spend roughly about, uh, about 15 million rand every year to return to the local communities okay. to help uh, for, the development for the development and to assist with children, with the, with the older people. Okay. And we do contact with them on a regular basis. Yes. So if we have time, we can, we can talk with them and, and yes. have a word with them. Wow, the view is so beautiful. It made me miss my hometown. 
in Beverly, you know. My hometown is also very beautiful. Yisha, from which part of China do you come? I come from Jilin province, northeast of China. Have you been to China? No, no, I haven't been there yet, but I'd like, love to go one day. Like my hometown, during the winter, the temperature will be below minus 20. We have rhyme. We also have a very famous mountain named the Changbai Mountain. After the first snow in the winter, from the top to the foot of the mountain will be pure white. It's totally different from South Africa. Sure, no, that will be nice. Do you guys go skiing there? You also ski at the, on the mountain? Yeah, there are many ski resorts. Okay, no, then I'll come and visit you in winter. Definitely, definitely. If there is any chance, I will take you to China, to my hometown. Okay, it's a, that's a pretty much on top. That's so good. let's let's go and see if we can meet someone. Okay, yes, let's go and try. Okay, all right. Just be careful when you when you stand up. Okay. And make sure all your ropes are behind me. Are behind yeah. you and know where you are. Yes. Okay. Okay. There we go. Wow, this one's now so interesting in this wind turbine. I wish our little kids could see it as well. Let's see what time it is. Oh, good, they're still at school. Well, so can we have an interview with the little kids and show them a bit of our wind farm? Hello, Beverly! Hello, Beverly! Do you remember Longyan's auntie and uncle that talked to the dance last time we came to visit? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's dance, everybody. Yay! Um, we start 2015 year, uh, 2015, we will have only 20 kids and four practi uh, three practitioners and then me, so we was four. We, here was only three rooms in the kitchen. I want to say thank you for long yon. They give us six class classrooms, but everything inside the classrooms is from long yon. Who sponsor us for, for food and so we make puzzles. In the COVID-19, we use that to make hampers and we send it for the kids home, take it home in that lockdown, but we close through this lockdown. I just want to thank the uh, Long John for the help. Thank you, Long Ghana, the Director of Economic Development of a local municipality, the R. Good morning, Ms. Ghana. What are the positive aspects of the project that was brought to the people of the R? Look, M. Tanjan Municipal it is an institution which is open to any investment. We have been part of the project in terms of uh, ensuring that the project is successfully implemented and it started my contributed to job job creation and it also play an important role socially in terms of helping SMNEs, developing SMNEs, also in partnership with the municipality in social activities, uh, economically and assist non-government organization. Uh, it also assists the municipality in some other interventions that we do in our community. It also played a massive role in terms to assist us in the municipality in fighting against the current situation. We'd like to thank Mr. Misengana today for telling us more how the Longyan South Africa Renewables local project has helped them with the local community. 
We also like to thank all our viewers for watching our open day on internet. We keep well and stay safe.